Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and in today's video I am going to be tackling my messy house. Since I've been doing a lot of decluttering recently, there have been a few spaces in my home that have been put on the back burner and it's time to take care of those spaces. So I hope that you'll come along and if you enjoy this video, I'd love to have you join my YouTube family. So please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's just go ahead and jump right into today's video. Today I'm starting off in the kitchen, putting the dishes away and wiping down the counters. Normally I start off my day by making my bed and I clear my end tables, but my daughters were still asleep this morning and I did not want to wake them up, so I figured I would get started in the kitchen and then I can move on to taking care of making the bed in the room. If you weren't able to watch my clean and undecorate video a few weeks ago, I mentioned that I had collaborated with Bextrax on this dish drying rack and I am still really enjoying it. I love that I can just put it away in the pantry whenever I'm not using it and it clears up the counter space. Alright, and both girls are awake so I can move into the bedroom now to make my bed and clear the end tables. I would also like to dust my TV and I really need to tackle my fan. We have had a lot of allergies lately and I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. But when I looked up to turn off the fan, I saw probably an inch of dust on, my, uh, on the blades of the fan. And I'm thinking, well, no wonder we've been dealing with allergies. We have a ton of dust in here, so I need to take care of that today for sure. Also, if you are looking for a new bedspread, this is the Magnolia from Target, and I love this bedspread still. I don't think I got to mention this in my previous video, but we had it for one day, and my daughter wrote on it with permanent marker. So I do have a little bit of a stain on it, but I still love it. Obviously, we're still going to keep it. And look at the dust on those fan blades. That is horrible. I don't remember the last time that I wiped them, but I'm just going to wipe down the TV for now and then I can come back and take care of those fan blades. Earlier when uh, I put the dishes away, my daughters had woken up, so I went to the room, took care of that, and then I'll be making my way back to the kitchen to continue wiping down the counters. I'm wiping down my counters with the Mrs. Meyers apple cider scent and this is actually my second bottle already. I know it's not even the end of September yet, but it's one of my favorite fall scents. For winter, my favorite is the Snowdrop and actually I went to Target the other day and they had one bottle, so I will say I did pick it up because I'm very excited for it. I'm not going to use it yet obviously, but I will have it on hand. So let me know in the comments what your favorite fall scent is as well as your favorite winter scent. Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof, auto, your taste. It's really a bad reception out there. Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in close to me? I first you. If you have been following me for a while, you know that my table used to be my biggest trouble spot. It was a catch-all, but I've actually managed to keep it somewhat clear. Um, but now it's my bar counter area, and it's the first thing you see before you get to the kitchen. So I'm really going to try to continue to work on keeping it cluttered free. Let me know if you have a spot that you are still struggling with and that you are planning on working on as well. And every time that I finish cleaning the kitchen, I try to light a candle. At the moment, I'm burning the white pumpkin that I picked up from TJ Maxx, and it smells so good in my home every time that I light it. Oh 
And like I mentioned just a minute ago, I've managed to keep this table clear, which really helps right now, especially since we have the fall placemats on there and the rest of the decor. It helps it to not look so to look so overwhelming. So I'm using the Mrs. Meyers apple cider again, just to wipe down the table and get rid of all the crumbs that my daughters love to leave for me. All right, and y'all know that I love my to-do list, so I'm just marking off what I've done already, and I'm moving on to wiping down my daughter's sensory table as well as picking up the toys that she has on the floor. Yeah, I love you. But I need you, and you're off my radar now. I lost you. Yeah, I lost you. Telling you that I need you. Okay, moms, quick question for you all. If you have two kids that are close in age, I'm just curious to know, do you combine their toys or do you separate them? I have at the moment a two and a half year old and an almost one year old, and I have to separate their toys. I noticed that my almost one year old was going and she was just kind of throwing all of the, my older daughter's toys on the floor. So I separate her toys and it's worked well so far, but as you can tell, she's still in the stage of just kind of throwing all her toys. So let me know, do you combine them or do you have a separate spot for them. I'm really not sure how in the world my daughter gets her chair this bad, but I really needed to wipe it down as well as her table. If I don't wipe it down daily, it gets really gross, and normally she helps me out with it, but today I went ahead and just did it myself. She actually ended up going and taking out the toys that I had just picked up. You'll see it here in a minute that she took out a few of the toys. And then also, I really needed to vacuum this couch. This is one of those chores that I mentioned getting put on the back burner. So I'm just gonna finish this up and then I can move on to the next thing on my list. Alright, and if you have a cordless vacuum, this is my reminder to you to go charge it right now because mine died halfway through vacuuming the rug, so I had to finish off by using the broom. All that time away from you I didn't think I'd make it without you by my side Let me feel your love again just the two of us and we could stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright Oh, I wanna be with you Oh, I wanna be with you Let me be the time Finally, for the most dreaded chore on today's to-do list, I'm finally taking care of that inch of dust that's on my fan blades and I really feel like this is the culprit behind those nasty allergies of mine. The next morning is when I woke up stuffy but it was just on my right side which is where all of the dust bunnies were falling so I am blaming it on this gross fan <laughs> and hopefully I won't let it get this bad again.
beg you think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you Okay guys, I had to show you how it looked inside the pa the pillowcase cuz it is pretty bad. Look at all of this dust. All of that on the fan blades. That's pretty gross. And look at the duster. My gosh, I need to show you all my arm though. So let me turn you all around so you can see. I don't know if you all can see this, but <laughs> look at my arm. Just from dusting, it was falling all over me. Alright, I put the toys away, I vacuumed the couch, vacuumed the rug, finally did the fan, and let's see what else. I think that's it for now. All I have left to do is to fold uh, the load of laundry that's in the dryer at the moment, so I can't do that just yet, and I need to sweep the kitchen and dining area. But I think I'm going to wait for my daughters to go down for their, for their naps to do these two. They're pretty much ready to eat lunch, so I need to feed them before I move on to doing the last two items on my list. And then I'm finally done! Mm -hmm. And one of the last things on my list today was to fold this load of laundry. I have actually managed to keep up with just doing one a day. And this is definitely not easy. There are a few times that I'm not able to wash one load. So I will have two, three, sometimes even four loads. But for the most part, I'm still keeping up with it. And it really helps to not make me feel so overwhelmed. What does your laundry schedule look like? Do you do one load a day? Or do you just take one day out of the weekend and take care of it all in one day? Let me know in the comments because I am curious. I have done both. And at the moment, I'm really enjoying the one a day. And that is going to do it for today's video. I did need to sweep my dining area and my kitchen. That was the last thing on my list, but I wasn't able to get to it. And normally, if I don't get to doing like the sweeping, I will do it the following morning before the kids wake up if I'm able to. Um, but let me know if you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I'd love to have you join my YouTube family. So please don't forget to subscribe. I hope that this video gave you some good cleaning motivation. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Bye.